I just don't know how to look sexy, like. I'm like, oh, that was cute. Hold up, bitch. Welcome back. So first I'm going to start off by putting on my Too Faced Lip Injection. Y'all already know the drill. Then I'm going to drench my face in this Max Fix Plus. I'm going to go ahead and start priming my eyes. So I'm going to start off by using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I'm just going to place that all over my eye. You already know how I do. And then I'm going to rub it all in. Rub a dub dub. Then I'm going to set that with some Laura Mercier Laura Mercier powder and you see I got that all on my eyebrow like girl I took 20 minutes on my eyebrow and I messed it up but it's okay I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and blend out that powder to make sure it went everywhere evenly so first I'm going to start off with this Anastasia Beverly Hills shade in the shade um, I believe this shade is orange sorbet, however you say that word. <laughs> and it's just a transition color. I'm just going to place this all over my crease. Then I'm going to take the shade Sienna, and I'm going to start warming up my crease area. This look is going to be really simple with only three shadow colors. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear this damn train. I mean, this damn um, plane in the back of me. Um, then I'm going to use this shade Cold. Um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well and I'm going to place that all over my eyeshadow and this is not by Anastasia <laughs> this is by Morphe I'm just going to place that all over my lid now this is where it gets hard when you do a smoky eye because uh, you want to make sure you don't have any harsh lines so you're going to blend out um, the edges of the black shadow but while you're doing that you're going to start losing the shadow so you're going to have to go, it's going to, it's, te it's a very tedious process. You're going to have to keep going back and forth between um, the black shadow and your, whatever transition shade you use. So I'm, I mix the sienna and the orange sorbet together on that um, brush and on that blending brush. And I just went back and forth with it. And I'm just doing that to make sure that my edges blend out seamlessly. I don't want to have any harsh lines. And I don't want the black to just look like it was just placed on my eye. It's all about blending, y'all. Blending is key, honey. Now I'm going to take this um, NYX glitter glue. And this glitter um, that I got is this black glitter. And I got it from Melanin Cosmetics. So I'll put their link in the description box. And go ahead and check them out. Um, support your people, you guys. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just going to start packing this glitter on my eye. This glitter is so bomb. She sent me um, four of these glitters, I believe, and a pressed glitter. And they are so bomb, you guys. You guys do not understand. They're so pigmented. They're so pretty. Like It's kind of like she hand-mixed them, basically. Because I have black glitter. It does not look as good as this. So you guys might want to go and check them out. Oh, and I did pay for it because y'all know I only got 200 subscribers. I ain't got time. Um, nobody ain't trying to send me stuff yet, but it's cool. So I'm going to start. Um, what I'm doing right here is I'm going back with that black because I feel like I lost some of the black. So I'm just putting it back in my um, on my eye. You guys do not have to do that part if you don't want to. And I popped on some velour lashes, and um, now I'm just wiping off, wiping away um, any fallout that I have from the glitter. Now I'm going with this Urban Decay Deep. Y'all know that I love this, um, the setting spray so much, so when this primer came out, I had to go and cop this. And I love it a lot. I love the feel of it. Um, I'm just adding more here because I loved it so much. So you guys know I love primer. So then I'm just going to set that with the um, setting spray. Then I'm going to take some of my Mario Badescu spray and spray that all over my face. Then I'm going to go to my uh, one of my favorite foundations. You already know. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation. And I do not know what shade I'm in, actually. I believe, it's, I believe I'm in shade 8.0. Um, but don't quote me on that. If you guys want me to start putting the products that I use in the description box, like list all of the products that I use, let me know. Um, 
I just haven't been putting them in there because I don't know. But if you guys really want me to, I will start putting that back in the description box. And I'll start putting it back in my um, videos. But just let me know. Um, I'll try to say it while I'm while I'm doing my voiceovers. So if I forget anything, it would be cool to have it in the description box. But anyways, I'm going to go to another one of my favorite um, highlighters. This is not a highlighter. <laughs> I'm going to go back to one of my favorite um concealers and this is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade Cafe. Um very inexpensive and it does a good job highlighting my face. So then I'm going to go over that with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um I was gonna use a bunch of new products that I got because I cleaned out my makeup room and cleaned out if you guys watch my makeup room um tour then you guys know I have two drawers full of makeup, brand new makeup. So I finally got a chance to put that, put it all away and start using some of it. So um, in the next few videos, you'll see me using a bunch of new stuff. So this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm just using the darkest contour shade. And I'm contouring my face. I'm contouring my cheeks, um, under my chin, around my forehead. And I'm contouring my nose. And this contour is very important today because for some reason, I look very hefty in this video. And I do not know why. It's been bothering me. Um, this video almost didn't go up, but the look was just too bomb for me to not put it up. You guys know I struggle with polycystic ovary syndrome. And I did gain a little bit more weight, but it started going away. But I don't know, I just look very big in this video and I do not like it. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, then I'm going to take, you guys already know, my um, Black Radiance Foundation um, Powder and wiping away the translucent powder with that. Um, but yeah, if you guys didn't know that I have polycystic ovary syndrome, then um, I will also link that video in the description box. I'll try to remember because I always forget to link stuff in the description box when I say I'm going to do it. But it teaches you guys all about that, how I found out and all of that. So yeah, it's a good video to watch. And I'm just going back over my contour, making sure that it's as strong as I want it to be. Then I'm going to take this um, Too Faced Sweethearts blush. And I'm going to just place it all over on my cheeks and, excuse me, then I'm going to go under my eye with the same colors that I used in my transition, excuse me, <laughs> that I used in my transition um, area, my crease area. And then I'm going to take on a flat definer brush, that black shade. I'm going to line my eye with that. You guys already know how I do. Then I'm going to take this skinny mascara. This is hands down one of my favorite mascaras. Like you guys, have, since I've got it and tried it, you guys have seen it in my videos. And honestly, I think this is going to be in every single one of my videos because this mascara is just bomb. If you guys do not have it, I highly suggest that you go get it. It literally gets every single eyelash under your eye, especially for the people that don't have lashes under their or it don't look like it, you're going to get it with this mascara. <laughs> and so, yeah. Now, I'm trying this new Wet n Wild um, highlighter. And this highlighter is popping, okay? For, I think it costs $3, I want to say, at my Walmart. Y'all, this highlight is bomb. Like, I took a whole bunch of selfies, and especially my nose highlight was just popping, honey. <laughs> you all know how I feel about my nose highlight. So then I placed that highlight under my um, on my brow bone as well, and it really set the look off. Like this highlight is really really good. You guys will be seeing more of this, I promise you. I got two more shades, so I'm gonna start using those as well. So now I'm gonna take this Kylie True Brown um, lip pencil. I had to restock and get another one because you know I used the other one to the end. But this is just the best lip liner hands down. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to take um, Muse by BH Cosmetics liquid lipstick and place that in the middle. And then I'm going to take some MAC um, lip gloss under it. You can take whatever type of nude lip gloss that you have. It's perfectly fine. Then I'm going to set my face and that is it. My fucking makeup is fucking lit. Like this shit looks so good. This looks really fucking good. Like, 
I get better and better every single time. So I'm going